very good afternoon to everyone. This is P. Mahesh Reddy, Research Scholar in Civil Engineering Department of uh, uh, NIT Agartala. I am currently doing my research under the guidance of Tara Sen Ma'am and Jayant Paul sir. And today I am going to present my paper on review on biocomposites in ancient motors through material characterization in case studies, modern reverse engineering technique. In this presentation, I am going to present introduction, different case studies, which were done with material characterization with the help of sophisticated analytical methods on ancient motors. And lastly, I'm going to present my conclusion of this paper. Up to before the fourth century, all the ancient monuments, heritage structures were built with mud motor. After fourth century, fourth century up to 18th century, maximum ancient monument heritage structures were built with lime motor. Thereafter, cement uh, construction taken place. While coming to current presentation, I am going to deal with the 4th century to 18th century in between period ancient motors, which constructed with lime motor with different biocomposites by using locally available biopolymers. The ancient constructions were built by various cultures and techniques that were eventually systemized to, into unique architecture comprising temples, places, churches. The structures serves as a Reminders of wealthy, prestigious, and significant past history and prosperity. The motor used in the ancient buildings were uh, held together with glue made for, um, from lime. Ancient motors were composed of bind, binder aggregate and biopolymer admixtures to increase the structural endurance because of their superior performance of moisture uh, replevants and resistance to the effects weathering agents. Organic lime motors like this uh, frequently utilized in the uh, erection of ancient structures. Lime motors have been be the subject of research on their binding capacity, having high quality medical qualities, uh, sorry, mechanical qualities uh, can also be found in uh, uh, plas uh, plant based fibers. Uh, jute, flax, cotton and bamboo are the most popular biopolymers are examples of uh, common plant polymers. Corn husk, plan, uh, palm, and uh, pineapple husk are additional sources of the plant fibers. Biocomposite polymers have are a wide range of application in particularly every engineering industry because of their uh, they are inexpensive, they are ideally ideal for low cost housing and construction and uh, renovation. Uh, okay, studies uh, uh, jute uh, jute is a biopolymer by, obtained by the Malgamalici genus chorus plants as a uh, lignolysic uh, polymer, jute combines the properties of the te textile polymers and wood polymers. In uh, textile terminology, it is known as the bas polymers. Bas polymers are polymers generated either from the bast or uh, plant of the skin. The elemental composition of uh, jute fiber includes 64.4% percentage of cellulose, 12 percentage of semi-cellulose. 11 percentage of a lignin and 10 percentage of water and 1.1 percentage of water soluble and 0 0.5 percentage of wax and 0 0.2 percentage of pestin. And in this uh, regard, uh, in case studies of a chemical and mineral investigations of lime plasters of medieval structures of a hampi, the, which is constructed in 14th to 16th century in India, uh, these studies were done by M.S. Singh and S.V.K. Kumar and Sable. What they were find in FTR analysis, especially at uh, in Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy FTR was to be examined the aggregate after it had been sieved following the process of dilute HCL. The spectra was a small peak of uh, uh, 2,950 centimeter inverse that could have been caused by jute fibers and other organic materials in the plaster. And in case studies of uh, 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 characterization of a 12th century brick lime uh, uh, steep well, uh, the Rajaki Bowli, uh, plasters from the New Delhi, India by studied by S.K. Singh, uh, D.K. Dinge and M.R. Uh, Singh in 2019. The, all the samples were collected from the plant fibers as an organic ingredient. The presence of vegetable fibers are in the Rajaki Bowli plaster specimen was shown to be strength and to be avoided croaking. Uh, while drying. The fiber was identified using scanning electroscopy, not only the sc uh, uh, scanning electroscopy, here also we can identify some jute fibers 
that they were uh, study uh, said in the uh, in their studies and in case studies of sisal sisal fiber uh, comes from the leaves of agavilla sisalena sisalena varigrus sisali natrally or the four species of uh, sisal plants found in india the for, uh, the amount of uh, fiber produced by various plant specimens are uh, various uh, greatly in the studies of taj mahal plasters by aslam in 1999 uh, 1990 a significant uh, supplemental data was gathered uh, via petrographic and uh, same examinations in addition to chemical exa chemical xrd ftr and uh, same analysis the conventional photography were employed to mineralogical identifications the plaster samples reveals the presence of uh, plant fibers uh, primary fibers were sisal hemp and jute all the fibers are reinforced to the plaster appear to be indian origin uh, the flax uh, next coming to flax flax is a, a, a licensi family that belongs to the genus linum it is uh, utasismum because of its historical importance as a grain crop the world utasism which is equivalent most beneficial has been used when it comes to the structural and functional uh, geometric research uh, uh, fox style millimeters has a, uh, has gained a lot of uh, attention of a model crop uh, and in three the most significant areas of uh, stress biology millet generally words the group of uh, perennial grain crops that produce small seeds conclusion sir yes uh, conclusion uh, the reason uh, the reason behind the jute why you utilize it means to reduce the shrinkage and better bonding in lime mortars and plasters and uh, the reason behind using bamboo foliage millet grains flax are uh, to increase the silica content and attaining more strength and to increase the thermal properties elastic properties and dilatation to reduce the heat of hydration in lime mortars and plasters and to make the sorry and this uh, to make the fibers utilizing polymeric scientists these fibers have been similar synthetic fibers that added benefits and biodegradable inexpensive widely available and uh, in this era i this is uh, there is limited uh, literature it is available in current topic this sophisticated analytical methods in reverse engineering will confirm the unknown materials to be realized construction materials with the practical technology so that research can be able to decision to make the restoration and conservation of uh, heritage structures so how uh, there is one uh, process to identify this thing what i identified by the literature review that uh, from the plasters and mortars in ancient monuments if we done that sophisticated analytical methods we can go uh, we can identify biocomposites and biocomposites what they are telling means that locally available biopolymers of those surroundings of monuments are utilized in those construction and this is done with the help of sophisticated analytical methods by this we can add, uh, uh, we can have that to protect the uh, heritage culture this is a process why we need to protect the heritage culture means to achieve the ancient knowledge in all aspects of medical and engineering and sciences so the uh, there are some biggest scopes in this region every researcher who is ready to take the uh, face critical challenge that material science to deal with uh, ancient structures like civil engineering and mechanical engineering they can identify the different type of uh, techniques we used in structures and in uh, comp while coming to composites mechanical civil biotechnical bioengineering physics here the one interesting thing is that uh, that medical sciences are uh, fields also uh, by this technologies of sophisticated analytical methods by this uh, thing they can identify the composites how the structures were utilized for binding properties what are the else uh, plant uh, polymers having that composites in ancient time we can know the thing and the uh, polymers who are dealing with thing mechanical civil biotechnical bioengineering physics biopolymers these members can also be do come into this type of things and we can go for uh, ancient technology like this thing and to uh, protect the heritage culture and who who are uh, interested in heritage culture properties that social or sciences people they can also do this type of things and they can identify their objectives in this field thank you sir and this is the references what i uh, used for this presentation